Hey everyone, this is the Scott Man. We're live here in Breckenridge, Colorado. It's on the cloudier side today and actually a chance of rain even today too. And we're going to get ready to head on down to the gondola here. How high up will it go? I don't know, we have to ask him. It goes to about 33,000 feet. Alright, sounds like fun. <laughs> Looks like a little lightning show over in that area. Good thing we're going that way. So let's head on up. And now we're on our way up and actually see a great view of downtown Breckenridge down there. Definitely a lot of nice stores and places to eat and stuff. And lots of hot women. Sounds good. <laughs> Named Julie. <laughs> okay, we'll see you at the next point of interest. Yeah, I do apologize for the bad view as it's enclosed. Well, it looks like we made our made to our final destination. Oh, wait a minute. We're still going. Yeah, it's because we got a little bit more to go. <laughs> but yeah, from here we can definitely see a lot of the ski runs here. To look over that way and also over there too. Actually, you can see some more of the resorts up there, too. We made it to our final destination, so we'll get off in a second. Now we made it to the top of the, uh, top of the gondola, right? And we got a nice view of the mountains over here, and we got some cheerlifts that go up. However, it's actually sprinkling a little bit, so. How the clouds look, I don't think it would be a good idea to go up there, but oh, we got some, we got a biker coming down the hill too, or the mountain, I should say. But yeah, we're at one of the mini resorts here at Breckenridge, and definitely a lot of people out and about right now. But yeah, we'll probably be getting ready to go on the, back down the gondola in a, in a bit, so we'll see you during our descent back down to the main part of Breckenridge. Yep, we were heading back down on the gondola and you actually get a nice view of the of the Continental Divide over there too. But as you can tell, we got a ways to go, going through, going over some of the wooded areas. Scotty, <laughs> hey, don't do that in the gondola. <laughs> Anyway, down there, I don't see any moose or bears or anything. Oh, well, we'll see further down. Yep, right here, too, we got a lovely view of Breckenridge as well. And, of course, there's the parking lot where we first started today. Well, we're pretty much almost all the way down, so pretty much be closing this segment. And coming up next, we're going to be... We're going to be watching a future NHL athlete in action, so definitely something to look forward to. Hello, this is Scott Fritzin. I'm from the NHL Scott from fin uh, Finland. I'm here to watch Mr. Tim do some hockey action. And if he gets lucky, I'll have him play for the Montreal Canadiens later this year. All right, all right, that was terrible. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, we're live here at the Breckenridge Ice Rink. And it's pretty chilly in here. It feels like it's in the 20s right now. But not complaining, though. It's, I actually prefer 20-degree weather over 90-degree weather, to be honest. But they're getting some of the nets out. And my uncle should be coming out shortly to 
try to get into the NHL. All right, so we'll be back in a little bit. Now we'll come back and got my got my uncle out on the ice right now and time to see some hockey moves. Uh, excuse me, time to see some hockey moves now. Goals right over there. There we go. Moves like that that gets you in the NHL. Actually got some other hockey players out as well. And there goes the puck. Or pucks, I should say. There's quite a few of them out. If you don't believe me, there is a goalie there. You just can't see him. The goalie here likes to be invisible. But there is one, and strangely enough, you can actually walk right through him. It's supposed to be a Brecken uh, Breckenridge legend. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> but be cool if that was the case. being cloudy and overcast with some rain showers out possible outside. It's actually a nice day to be in the ice rink. He's thinking about his next move. He's warming up. Uh, oh, he decides to switch pucks, and there he goes. He's skating across the across the center line there, and slowly for surely, he's saying hi to some fellow. You don't see that. In the, you don't see that in the majors. Yeah, there he goes. He's skating across the blue line, and he's it's an open goal. And okay, he doesn't want to go in. That guy does, but oh, that was close. But this is the the Stephen C. West Ice Arena here in Breckenridge, and. We'll see you at the next Breckenridge second segment. Ah, we're outside the ice rink, and we're right in the middle of downtown Breckenridge. As you can, as you can tell, it definitely rained here. Hey, right now we're going to be finding some place to eat, and then probably head out and head back to Winter Park. Ah, definitely a nice... Definitely a nice tourist town. Lot, definitely lots to, lots to see and do and eat. <laughs> All right, we'll see you, see you in a bit. And we finally made it back to Winter Park, and 
definitely looked like it rained a little bit since we got back and definitely tell with the with all the fog over there over in the mounds over there but if you reach out your hand a little bit yeah, you can definitely feel some of the sprinkles I actually get a nice feel of everything from over here too Yeah, it's nice and nice and cool out here and yep up on Bertha Pass actually it was in the upper forties too, so definitely quite cool compared to other parts of the country right now. So I think it got up to the low eighties back where I live in southeast Michigan. Of course unfortunately I'd be going back to that in a couple days. <laughs> oh well. It's only it's late August, so with Labor Day weekend approaching, I'm sure things will cool down, of course. Well, this concludes today's video in Breckenridge, Colorado. Of course, closing off in Winter Park, of course. And this is Scott Mann signing out.